Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So what I'm going to do uh, today is I'm going to use this um, David Palladini Aquarian Tarot deck to lay out a Celtic cross, but it's going to be... question you have in your mind. So take a moment before you uh, look at this to just uh, center your mind and think of something that's important to you. And let's see if this question, if this uh, deck, if this reading uh, answers it for you. So interesting, interesting test. So uh, we'll put this down. And I've got a neat uh, table to use here. I think you can see it. And uh, so this is the, and I'm doing this just to get a gauge of what can be seen on this uh, this, lapt this laptop right here. So I think that'll be good right about there and here. And we've got the full scope here. So I'm going to be using this uh, Aquarian deck by David uh, Palladini, as I think I've said three or four times now in this darn video. And um, this surface that I'm going to be using is very cool, don't you think? I mean, it's, it's got a lot of texture to it, and it is a testament to the gallons of cheap wine that we've consumed in this house uh, and not known what to do with the corks because they seem so nice. But now the funny thing is that a lot of these corks are even those plastic corks, corks that are being used so much right now, plus uh, even more and more of the le at least ex less expensive bottles of wine are coming with screw cap tops. So, you know, now what are we going to do? But yeah, this was uh, this is probably about a week's worth. No, I really don't know. There's a lot of bottles of wine here. So, yes, this will be an experimental um, uh, pull here to see if it resonates with folks. And I hope it does. That's the whole point of uh, doing this, to see if it, uh, if it has some value to someone other than myself. Death and judgment, that's interesting. One day I'll learn how to shuffle the cards and not create a big uh, mess. But it won't be today, will it? Look at that. I can't shuffle the cards today. What is that telling me? Let's do this. Let's uh, just do a mix-up. And, uh, and let that be our shuffle. So I'm a big believer in don't fight fate. Fate is telling you something. Try to go with it. And plus, I believe the astrologer is saying that this first part of this week could be a difficult week for some of us. So that could be a little bit of what I'm... Look at this. I can't even, I can't even hold the cards today. But we're going to power through and make this work. So right now, think of what you want these cards to answer for you. And we're going to start right now with the signifier card. And the signifier here is the uh, Eight of Rods. And the Eight of Rods uh, speaks to us of uh, a lot of issues uh, coming up and, um, and challenges coming right at you at the same time. So that seems appropriate for this sort of reading. We're going to see what the challenge to that is. The challenge to that Eight of Rods is the Nine of Rods. And that's kind of being battle-weary or, or ready to go in for more. So that's the challenge to this Eight of Rods, is in fact the Nine of Rods. Now we're going to see what is the base of this reading, and uh, that uh, is the Emperor. So the Emperor just speaks to um, being in control of, of, your, of your situation, uh, as we all should be. And, uh, so, and that's what we want this uh, reading to do. We want this reading to give you a basis uh, for control over what happens in your destiny. So we'll put this one right down here, the Emperor. Now, in the uh, past, we're going to t say we're looking at the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords speaks to us about taking a rest, taking a beat, and, and, and a well-deserved rest, because if you get up too soon, you might get stuck by one of these swords. So that's the past. So perhaps uh, you've done that. Maybe you've taken a minute to uh, get a breath, and, uh, and you're ready to go on to another step. And maybe that's why you, you chose to look at this uh, reading today. In the sky here is the Two of Rods, and the Two of Rods talk to us about making plans. You can see that this person is uh, looking into the globe, trying to decide what is going to finish this uh, un, um, unknown uh, journey for them, making plans for the future. So, And then the uh, final outcome for this big picture is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles talks to us about... Um, Someone who's in charge of of their, you know, they have value in what they've learned or what they've earned or what they've done, 
and uh, and they're steadfast in that in that value and they're ready to bring something forward the knight is always is ready for a battle he's ready to defend the honor of his subject so um so that's where this is kind of like a big overview over what uh, your situation may be and so just talk about it very quickly again the signifier was the eight of rods lots of challenges and it's crossed by the nine of rods really having feel like you know you've been through a lot but you're ready to take on some more that's what this knight is telling us and the basis of that reading was the emperor who uh, is someone who's definitely in charge uh, is that you or is it someone in your life or someone you're working for and uh, the recent past is the four swords taking a, a breath and certainly we all have taken a, a, a beat, we've taken a breath right now in the, the times that we're in. And uh, before we get up, we want to make sure that we're careful that we don't uh, hurt ourselves. In the sky then was the Two of Rods, which speaks to making a plan for the future. And this just tells us that this night is going to make a solid uh, approach on the issue that uh, they have in mind. Now, now we're going to narrow it right down to the self. And down here we're going to say that uh, this represents... Uh, your issue right now. The Six of Pentacles speaks to kind of wanting things to be how they were, um, you know, and 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 the way that they were was solid, you know, had value. So wanting to to be in that situation again, and the Six of Pentacles is here, uh, ready to weigh out uh, whatever measures may be necessary. The environment that that Six of Pentacles is is in, though, is the Hermit. And the hermit tells us it's time for introspection, time to really take a careful look at what we're getting into. So that's the environment. We wish it was something else, but we have to look forward to uh, what we're dealing with at this very moment. And then the uh, hopes and the fears with this king of rods. Now, the king is the master of his uh, element. And this uh, king's element is movement, fire, uh, getting something done. And, uh, and so the hope is that we have the wherewithal to be our king of rods and move our cause forward as this knight is is urging us to. But the final outcome, and the, probably the most important card then, is going to be the two of swords, and we have to make a choice. We have to go down one road or the other. We should choose uh, truth and justice, but we want to take the, the path that is that we know is the right path to take. And, you know, we all have that intuition where we know that we should do one thing or another and it's not the right thing to do something else we make that choice and we make it consciously and that's what you should do so i think that's a very determined reading again my name is mark and i'm squeezing in to get in the picture here this is my journey through tarot and i hope it's been an interesting journey for you too so come back again and we'll do it tomorrow ciao for now